the end. We have to get to this. Yeah, 
ever notice that we're in a huge spiral and we don't even know about it? We're so busy walking on the lines that we don't even focus on what's down below. We only look up and not look down because we're afraid of looking down. It's not we're afraid of looking down, it's more like we're afraid what's at the bottom. We're afraid to fall into it and not get back up. If you can't escape from it, then you're screwed. That's what most people are afraid of. But hey, we're still connected. We're connected in ways that extends the possibilities. That being our background, our lives, the mysteries, the questions to our problems that are yet to be solved today. And even the smartest people, scientists, detectives, police, they have been trying so hard to solve these mysteries, but they are unable to. We are our own heroes. We come in so many ways, so many shapes and sizes, and so many amounts and droplets. I became one because I was there for people who have no one to grab onto, and I want to be the person they grab onto for home. I never met my parents when I was born. I was raised by foster parents. And to this day, I don't even know if they're still alive or they're still caring about me. I never knew the reason why they just disappeared from my life. But what I do know is that if it wasn't for them, then I would have been bored, so I'm grateful for that. Anyway, enough of the present topics. Let's talk about me being a superhero. My name is Agent. I don't want to give up my real name just yet, so I'll stick with Agent for now. It granted powers beyond your imagination. My spirit never became the same afterward. It was like I was connected to it. So yeah, I stopped aliens, monsters, gladiators, terrorists. I've been business for many, many, many years. But never have I met someone who's at like a pretty dirty Ryan criminal. Changed my life. Surprise of better.
all the evil out there in the world. And we're the only ones fighting it. Get out of here, you're fired! You don't work here anymore! Get out! I was one of your employees. Fine, I'm going!
on TV. You're the criminal culprit that escaped jail a few days ago. You're the one who blew up that jail room. You're the one who escaped. I should meeting you. What the? Who are you? I'm Asian. Uh, why are you doing this to me? I've done nothing wrong. Why am I here? <laughs> you're the criminal, and you ask me why you're here? Don't you hear yourself? I hear myself perfectly well, thank you very much. I'd rather be alone. I don't think you understand the situation you're in. Let's be real. You're a criminal, you have nowhere to go, and the police are always on your tail. And even if you manage to escape here, you still have to go through all those police cars, all those sirens, and all those people who are out looking for you, hunting you down. You have no place to say. I'm sorry to break it to you, but that's reality. Life doesn't give you opportunity, it gives you punishment. Reward is where? <laughs> that's some pretty vague sense going on in your little pretty head of yours. But what gives you the right to judge me? I know everything about you, Lee. Even things you don't want to hear yourself. Even things you don't want to admit yourself. Or have to face them. I don't like people like you. People who just run away from their problems. Not face them. Instead of fixing them. Run away from them. Because you're afraid of facing them. You're afraid of how you handle it and screwing it up. You only care about yourselves instead of fixing your mistakes, but you don't fix them and they end up hurting other people. You are just cowards. I hate you. Excuse me, Mr. Kidnapper Man. What is it? Uh, I saw those bags under the stairs. Do you mind telling me what's inside? Bodies. What? Bodies? Bodies of what type? Humans? Lay, 
Hey. What? What are you doing? You can't just put random things in a hole and expect it to be fixed. That's not how things work. Well, what do you want me to do? It's been a while since I've done this because I was in jail. Whatever. You do what you're doing while I'll make a private phone call. And don't do anything stupid. Leader of Ben and James, is he really the one for the super DNA modifier? Because at this point, I'm not really sure. He's not even worthy. Yes, I am positive that he is the man perfect for the super DNA modifier. He meets all the requirements and criteria necessary for the super DNA modifier to take effect and give him the extraordinary and advanced abilities hidden deep within the cube. Well, if you're really sure it's him, I believe you. I'll never doubt your orders. I'm glad you always understand my orders, Agent, like usual. It makes me happy. Oh, on a quick note, there's something you should know that may trouble you. What's that? Our security cameras have picked up that Renly is currently leaving your territorial property at this very moment. What? Bring him back to the house and make sure he doesn't leave until further orders by me. Fine, I'll go get him. I know what you're thinking, but shrugging him will be as fun as running, right?
when I saw those planes crash into the buses, it makes me want to join the fight even more to prevent things like this from happening. I want this world to be a safe place where everybody can live comfortably without worrying of anything happen to them. Don't let terror control you. Don't let it be you. The memories we spend with children are always the most important to us. They are our breath, they are our eyes, they are our soul, they are our heart. Without them, then we wouldn't know what we'd be doing now. And there's a fire that keeps us going. Even if the fire's already out, the smoke still rises to the night sky, and it covers it, and it eventually turns into clouds. Why is that warm, deep feeling inside when we hold their hands and say, I love you, and they say, I love you back? That's where we get our strength from. Children are the most special to us. No one can describe how special they are. They're the future we're fighting for. Don't forget that. The news of today is
talk? OMG, is that so much worse? I'd rather be for screaming. Pretty much prefer you throwing words at me instead of your cl claws. In the name of Sam's V Pies, what's going wrong in your head to cause this much destruction, huh? What do we do to you? Good afternoon, sir. Lovely seeing you in the neighborhood. Are you interested in buying a bottle? My innocent promises for Christmas. Well, I promise you that I'm never gonna buy whiskey from anyone, including you.
any intruder can come back, busting wherever they want. And so yeah, hopefully that doesn't happen. jumps. Since you're so confident you can take me on, how about take on my army? I didn't tell you my secret so you can fall asleep. Get yeah. So clarify one more time so your little brain can understand. Finally, I'm part of an organization called Foxen. An uh, organization similar to the CIA but we're better than them. We're basically supernatural beings that control Zen and we use our powers for good to stop evil bad guys and save the world by using this Zen energy. And if you have any more questions, I'm not gonna answer them until I eat. I mean, I guess you can eat, but I don't really care if you starve to death. I mean, you can eat, but I don't really care if you eat or not, so... I'm not saying anything else until we eat. We're eating breakfast and lunch. I mean, brunch. Who came up with that name? It's so stupid. I'm still confused about this Zen thing. Can you please explain it a bit more so I can understand? Based on Chinese mythology, Zen has always been part of us since our birth. It is the power from within that manifested from our souls and we use it as power, like a superpower, to form into our weapons to fight against the dark forces of evil, like demons, monsters, and other similar things. You've been saying that I have a superpower this whole time since I was born? Um, no, only a special kind of people that can get Zen, but it's a rare commodity. But you can get something similar to Zen if you get in Super DNA modified, which is a big red pod. So what you're saying is if I get into a metal box and get my superpowers, it'll be that easy? Yeah, it'll be that easy, just like magic. Which is, is magic, basically, because the pot is running on magic. So you're saying there's more people Zen, but how come they did use it to stop the aliens? Fox Zen are unable to defeat the threat. They have powerful powers, but the aliens are too powerful. And we need a worthy candidate to pick out the special power that is inherited in the superpower DNA modifier. And that's you. It chose you. It won't chose any other candidate because we already tested it out with different people and it didn't work. But it only worked for you. It was like it was calling for you. So we knew we had to contact. 
contact you. That's why I had to kidnap you because I got a call from my boss saying that you were the one for the super DNA modifier. Look, I know you have high expectations for me, but I don't think I can risk my life for something that isn't worth saving. The brother was killed by a shape-shifting alien that turned into you and you were somehow framed by him. What do you know about it? I know, Lee. You were innocent. That wasn't you who killed your brother. It wasn't your fault. It's the aliens. Saw it from friggin' day one. I can help you get your revenge if you accept the power. I can help you avenge your brother. Don't let your... Don't let your hate cloud your judgment. But your sense of justice is what fuels you to do the right thing. And that is... Killing the bastards that killed your brother. Yes, I will. Good. We'll leave tomorrow. Your brother. What was he like? I'm just asking because I never had a brother, so I wouldn't know the feeling of having one. He was the sweetest little brother that a brother can ever ask for. We used to go to this restaurant and celebrate birthdays. No matter how ridiculous it was and outrageous it was, it was always surprisingly fun to experience. Especially brother and brother just hanging out like any other individual who goes there. Get to celebrate with cake and get a super sun and sun to you. And 
happens sometimes. I want those times back, but your passes by too quick. Your brother is gone, but his soul remains inside you. You can't change the past, but you can only move on and carry the memories that make who you are. Become your strength, and your brother is your strength. That's where it comes from. That's how much you love him. You are a brother to him, and you always will be his brother. I'm ready. No one is really gone if you remember them like home. I've located the people that tried to kill you, Lee. It turns out that they were the demon tigers. They want you dead so you wouldn't defeat the aliens. If you were to defeat the aliens, then their deals and their money, their empire will fall apart. And that's why they tried to kill you. So, since you're new to your powers, let's take it out on a test run on these guys. So, what do you say? What if I fail? What if I end up killing someone by using my powers? Why do you care about them? All they do is murder and take families away. And they are in league with the aliens! They are absolutely horrible! So, what we should do is being the most horrible to them as possible by killing the numbers once and for all. Like a staircase. And don't forget, these are the same people that worked with the people that killed your brother. I didn't trust you before, but I trust you now. Okay, let's do this. Wanna no, try? Get out of the driver's seat right now or I'll be shocking you. Live or die, your choice. Ah, fine. No fun. You make a wise decision. <laughs> Transform. Transform.
be taking this. Thank you for letting us into your home. It was well appreciated. I'm glad you can understand not to continue your ways for any longer. And your cooperation with the aliens ends now. Thank you for understanding. Have a good day.
stays with us. We're just going to have to deal with it. No matter how many times you try to prolong it, you can't prevent death. You can prevent it now, but you can't prevent it later. No one dies in vain. of a life is never forgotten it always remain in your heart your mind your soul and the memories you share with that person it will always stay with you forever don't let them be erased no matter what never let them be erased I'm sure that person loved you very much and they wouldn't want you in pain or anything that upsets you Because you always take it down anywhere you go.
life in melody, not tragedy. If it's possible that there's a more colorful life than the one you live in, would you like to see it? To those of you who don't believe in God or angels, I'm telling you now, start believing in them, because they're always looking after all of you. The choices that make us who we are are always tied to our lives and the people around us. They affect everything and everybody, a tragedy happened to me when I was young. Now I'm preparing the same thing that happened to me, not happened to anybody. Pain and grief will never come to them again, because all be granted them miracles of life. Sadness happens to us at a later time. May at some point where we least expect it. Now that may affect us, but it does not control us. We are our own control. We are stronger than any tragedy out there. We are stronger than any force of nature that come knocking on our door. No, we're not strong. We are invincible. And we'll continue being invincible until we're no longer invincible. Until we're more than that. Until we're beyond invincible. Until we became infinite like any other galaxy that stretches across the universe. We became that universe. Because of us, we're more than just scars, we're everything. Beautiful that saying, heroes die with honor, is nothing but a lie to discourage you from your true destiny. And I say your true destiny is what you make out of it, what you choose to make out of it, that makes you happy. Heroes don't die, because you know why? Heroes are always going to keep on living, just like generation after generation kept on growing and gain back the things you lost in your previous life in the form of something you truly love and are passionate about. Justice never stops, and neither will we. Remember, no matter what, when lives are on the line, it's hero time. The quietest forces can be the bravest soldiers.
Just know, don't worry about if you can see three people. Just the 
don't think I'll be needing this. I already know how to operate it. It's awesome. This is com comfortable. I, I don't think I'll, I'll be needing this. this. I, I already know how to operate it. It's awesome. This is a comfortable. I don't think I'll be needing this. I already know how to operate it. It's awesome. This is a comfortable. Don't have a new day. Don't have a new way. And my name is Ben. Ben Tennyson.